Hello guys, this is Frank and thank you for all the nice feedback on my female villager sounds resource pack for Minecraft 1.6. I got quite a few requests to do a tutorial on how I did that and that is what I will do right now. The tutorial will be in two parts. The first one, this video, will be how you actually create a resource pack for Minecraft 1.6. The second video will be how you actually make the sounds, your own sounds, work in Minecraft. Right then, so the first step I would say is the old traditional type in app data. And by the way, yes, I am using Windows 7, I'm just using a theme which makes my windows look ancient. But it is Windows 7. Right, we have a new folder here. It is called resource packs. Very exciting. Let's open this one up and let's create a new folder. This folder will be the name of your new resource pack. You know, let's call it awesome pack because, well, we're all awesome. In this folder, you will want to create a text document. WordPad is just fine. And in this folder, you will want to put this. Now I will provide a download link uh, for this so you don't have to like look at my video and try to copy this. I will try I will give you a download for this so you can make it entirely yourself. Don't worry about it. And then we close this down, we save it. I hope my Swedish Windows is not a problem for you guys. And then we rename this file to pack MZ Meta. Right. Yes, I want to change this. This file is important because otherwise Minecraft will not know that this is a resource pack. Now what we do now is that we create another new folder and it's going to be named assets. And in the assets folder we are going to create an additional folder called Minecraft. In this folder we will want to put everything that we want to change about the game. If you don't want to change something in the game you don't have to put it there. But well we want to change the sounds and stuff here so you know let's just grab everything from this folder except actually the language folder I think I'm just going to show you yeah different files to paste into here okay so we are copying over to our new minecraft folder in our new resource pack folder and it is taking a while there we go very good but there's also some other files that we want want might want to include in this like we want maybe we want to change the actual textures in the game and what do we do then well what we do is that we go to the folder name versions and we double click that and we locate the 1.6.1 .1 folder and the 1.6.1 jar and we want to open this jar now you need a software like 7zip to do this or something similar I will provide a link in the description to 7zip, it is really good and free, so I really do recommend that you use it, you open the file, and here we also have another assets folder, how nice, we got the textures here and everything as you can see, uh, we got the font and text and yeah, everything nice like that, let's take these and let's put them in here as well. Now remember, if you, for an example, don't want to change the music in the game, you don't want to change the sound, or maybe you just want to change the sound, but not the textures, then you don't actually have to copy that in. You only have to put the things that you want to change in this folder, which is pretty neat, pretty neat. And you know guys, it's ready. Awesome pack is done. You don't need to do anything more than this. It's all ready. Let's try it. Well, I guess it won't be that exciting considering we didn't actually change every anything. But let's go into the actual game and choose it. Just so you can see how it is done. Resource packs. Awesome pack. Hooray! Very, very good. Let's not play it since we look exactly the same. <laughs> but this is how you do it. And uh, from there on, you can change. Uh, you can change the textures. You can, you can change the sounds. And how we do actually change the sounds, I will show you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.